by the end of this video you will know pretty much everything how to replace the dummy plug and a stand pipe on the driver's side on a 6.0 power stroke diesel what tools to use sequences torque specs and we'll take a truck for a spin for a test drive we'll show you oil pressure specs yeah it's pretty interesting let's get started this video is for 2004 and a half up to 2007 power stroke 60 diesels early models are slightly different first as usual let's disconnect both negative battery cables on both batteries we don't want any current flowing through the electrical circuit yeah that's good next let's release the hose clamp and disconnect a small coolant hose coming to the expansion reservoir here we go next let's go to another hose release the clamp and disconnect the overflow coolant hose from the top of the radiator be careful don't break that little fitting so easy to break i see it was broken and repair it the jb weld yeah those ones are notorious to break all right let's loop the hose and plug both sides of the expansion tank pull the dipstick out all the way why with the oil now 8 mil socket let's remove two mounting bolts holding the expansion tank here we go and pull the expansion reservoir out we don't need to remove it yeah make sure everything's sealed we don't want to spill any coolant and on the bottom we still have the hose attached don't worry about it just move coolant bottle to the side far as it goes yeah that's perfectly enough let's put a bungee cord and hold it like that nice okay disconnect the airflow metering sensor here you go from the air intake release the hose clamp holding the air filter housing to the air duct one on the air filter side one from the turbocharger side undo air filter housing clip disconnect the connector from the air filter indicator sensor let's pull the air induct assembly out completely as one piece here we go easy there is a sensor telling you how often you should replace the filter how dirty is that yeah and as you can see that pop came out let's remove the entire air cleaner element assembly housing as you can see in the bottom it just sits in the rubber grommets pull it out now we have a plenty of room there you go there's a one more pressure sensor to disconnect undo that little plug let's undo those holding harness brackets to move the harness away to the side make sure it's not on our way here we go all right 10 mil shallow socket to remove four thickum fuel injection control module mounting nuts like that on my truck some of them missing you should see two in the front and you have two more on a back side let's undo those ones and then we can get to the connectors i have an entire video how to remove the thickum all in details we'll put the link down in the description yeah how purple disconnect the connectors but it's pretty easy yeah there's a uh, plugs on the bottom just press the tabs in if you looked underneath and remove the three connecting harnesses here we go very careful don't push it too hard because they don't want to snap and break yep all right pull the thickum out 10 mil socket let's remove the thickum holding bracket what's left mount it to the upper valve cover here we go one bolt is on the side let's undo that and 
that entire bracket will come out like that as you can see one two yeah there's a nut yeah i like to keep all fasteners together all right now we're almost ready to undo the rear bracket that thickum mountain bracket there is a couple nuts undo those ones and pull that bracket out of the way there we go like that there's a bracket nut didn't turn out and stud came out as one piece okay not a big of a deal all good all right as you can see here we have better access to our valve cover but we still have to move some harnesses and uh, do a little bit of cleanup before undoing it as you can see all that road grind all the debris and oil we don't want anything getting under the cover okay let's place the rug inside the turbocharger pipe and pcv hole as well let's just blow all that grind with the compressor make sure everything's clean we and we are ready for the bell cover removal there we go nice all right 12 mil deep socket to remove the stud the stud was holding the bracket let's remove that guy and also we will use the same socket for the rest of the valve cover bolts but let's move this short wiring harness out of the way over the valve cover there's a connector just undo that lock pull it to the side and pull the plug out here we go all right same way as we remove that first stud we'll do the rest of the bolts and uh, yeah let's remove that dipstick stud as well there's a mounting bracket for the engine oil dipstick it will make everything easier there is a slightly different studs and uh, bolts i like to mark it where it goes and that it will know where that should go back okay i removed the rest of the valve cover bolts just wiggle it a little bit and it will come out now we have a plenty of room as you can see how it's sitting yeah, just go over the harness and pull it up to the side and it's coming pretty good design not a big of a deal easy all right as you can see here's our valve cover gasket this one's still pretty good didn't have any leaks can you reuse it or if you want to you want to put a new one that's fine and I'm keeping all parts in order will make everything easier all right there's a one two three holes I marked where the studs will go rest of it just uh, bolts yeah very important otherwise you want to have the stud you won't be able to mount the brackets and tie the nuts over the stud all right yeah I'm going and carefully wiped all that debris what's on the edge of the cylinder head make sure nothing will fall inside the high pressure oil rail compartment yeah like that just as you can see all the little dirt just wipe it out nice nice and clean looks good 12 mil allen socket and i'm going to remove the dummy plug it will allow me to release whatever high oil pressure is remaining inside the oil rail gradually and also will allow all oil to leak down the engine make sure won't make the huge mass yeah 12 mil is a newer design improved upgraded design older one i remember they were 10 mil allens this is with 12 yeah pretty good all right let's pull the dummy plug out there we go nice it's all in oil oil is sitting inside the high pressure oil rail or fuel rail whatever way you like to call it i have never ever seen a dummy plugs failed causing the high oil pressure leaks yeah let's wipe it out with a clean paper towel inspect the o-rings for any cuts cracks damage 
as you can see those Teflon washers are in place and uh, we're going to replace the dummy plugs anyway with the new ones make sure truck is reliable yeah overall those o-rings are just fine yeah we just did a passenger side dummy plug and stand pipe just a couple days ago put a new one at crank no start hot condition yeah well we'll put a new ones all right let's remove the stand pipe it can be 10 or 12 millimeters allen key let's remove the upper part of the stand pipe make sure your allen socket has a good grip guys if you have any questions comments critics suggestions concerns recommendations put everything down in the comment section below under the video yeah all right it's loose enough i can spin it by hand right now and pull the upper part of the stand pipe stand pipe supplies high pressurized oil to the oil rail from h pop high pressure oil pump up all right here's a sequence how we have to tighten and loosen our fuel pressure rail properly we're using t30 torx very important make sure you have a very good grip on those torque screws don't strip them if you strip them you might end up removing the cylinder head yeah not a good thing okay i'm placing the rag make sure if oil will drip i won't drip on exhaust manifold okay all screws are removed just carefully lift the rail let the oil to drain whatever is left here you go don't make it big of a mess and now we can see our fuel injectors with the connectors or valve train yeah everything and here's a stand pipe sitting down to the h pop yeah let's pull this one out i'm just using needle nose pliers yeah grab it and wiggle it and pull it out if you're going to reuse the stand pipe don't do it like that otherwise you will scratch and damage the stand pipe yeah but we're going to put a new one anyway you're using just put a rubber on end of the your pliers white scratch in the pipe that is an o-ring on the bottom prone to fail quite often this one looks just fine as you can see it's in good shape it's used and uh, there's a stand pipe upper part and a tubing yeah here's a place on a fuel rail where the stand pipe will go through yeah we're not going to take the fuel pressure rail apart it's all good it's all fine i'm just going to put a fresh oil on an injector fittings like that make sure everything's lubricated and we're going to put it back yeah align the injector holes with the nipples and yeah place it over and uh, just uh, wiggle it and push it slightly in and we'll get down and you will feel it it's in it's not going anywhere and it fitted how it should okay fuel rail is back it's all in place this video is only for demonstration how i'm doing what works for me now i'm going to start a fuel rail mounting screws each and every of them by hand just run them down make sure it's not cross threading it's very very important yeah i'm going to fast forward speed up the process if this video is helpful informational please put a thumbs up thank you so much for doing that here we go all screws are tightened by hand now i'm going to torque them in a required sequence with a torque wrench very important to do it correctly make sure pressure is distributed evenly 
pressing down the high pressure oil rail yeah no rush yeah okay I'm going to do that right now make sure you have a good grip and don't use old worn out hex sockets here we go all screws are torqued good all right there's a Ford part number for the dummy plug and stand pipe and a rule of thumb always use OEM Ford parts yeah here we go here's a dummy plug brand new formal call yeah we're going to put that and here's the original one I'm going to save the original one it's still good just keep it in a toolbox might need it one day who knows okay doesn't take much space and before putting the dummy plug I'm going to lube it make sure it's all well oiled like that in a fresh motor oil nice yeah lubricant is our best friend we're getting our new replacement parts for the installation prepped here's the old tubing stand pipe tubing here's a old stand pipe there's a new Momoko parp stand pipe with a tubing yeah as you can see here that one we just pulled out but it's still good I will keep it and uh, let's put a oil on it o-rings make sure everything is looped and ready for the installation I already looped the o-ring on the end of the stand pipe before putting in a tubing it's all lubricated yeah let's get this pipe lube make sure it's all will go in nice and smooth I put a little bit on the threads yeah good to go well this is very important just to do this job once all right let's put um, our stand pipe in as you can see it goes as one piece but it won't come out as one piece usually when that bottom orange will get seated you won't pull it out as one piece it will just separate it apart all right let's um tie it up that stand pipe down just by hand just make it thread it down we're not torquing it yet we'll do it just in a minute tied it out stand pipe with a ratchet yeah as you can see everything's doable much I like much I hate 60 power strokes they're great engines overall they're well built they came with own issues but they're they have a lots of power when they run properly okay I'm just uh, tightening it, it until it stops just go all the threads down and then we'll torque it to the required specs a little bit later here we go and just snag it like that good enough for now let's now do our dummy plug yeah dummy plugs that are on opposite side of the stent pipe because the same oil rail is used on the driver's side and it mirrors the passenger side okay let's put our new dummy plug yeah let's start it by hand and let's just ratchet it down yeah power strokes they're great engines but they're getting old they discontinued back in 2007 and uh, today it's 2024 they're, they're old engines the newest engine will be 17 years old yeah I don't think that many of them left this engine is on a Ford F550 2007 model in earlier 60 power strokes they're even more problematic okay dummy plug is snagged here's the torque specs for the high pressure stand pipe and the dummy plug 233 foot pounds of torque all right dummy plug and the stand pipe they both torqued all good 
and now I'm going to put everything back in the same sequence we removed, just in reverse. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Well, as you can see, it's almost done. We are over the hill. Looks nice. Yeah, everything is organized, and we have quite a few things to put back. All faster and sorted, ready, clean, well cover. If you need to replace the gasket, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to reuse it. It's still good. It's good quality rubber gasket and all in sequence. Yeah. Installation is opposite to removal. Pretty simple. Well, it's time consuming process to do those dummy plugs and stent pipes, but it's worth it. Make sure you do both sides. If one side failed, like we had on this truck, passenger side stent pipe or in blew up, causing crank no start due to the low oil pressure. All right, now time to bleed the air from the high pressure oil system. I'm going to buzz the injectors. Let's just go with a buzz test for old eight. And now I'm going to crank it. One fire right up. Crank it no more than for 15 seconds. Yeah, let it start to cool down. Good enough. All right. Yeah. It'll fire it up. We still have some air in a high pressure oil system. One more buzz test. Let's run injectors through and eventually pressure will build up and truck will fire it up. Okay. Here it is. Is the pressure? Here's the start. Truck is running. Truck is idling. No miss, pretty good. Let's warm up the truck and check the four oil leaks before going for a spin. Good. We need minimum 500 psi oil pressure for the truck to start. I have a jersey block and I'm going to pull. And uh, yeah, we'll see the high pressure oil specs under the load. I'm going uphill. Truck is warmed up. And we have a perfect 1900 psi. Yeah, good pressure, 2000. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, truck is back to business. It's a pleasure when you have a job done right. Yeah, pulling hard, good pressure, no problem. Yeah, 27 under the load with the trailer, pulling up the hill. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for your time watching this video. Appreciated that. And more interesting videos are coming up. Take care. Four built off. Nice truck.